What's up guys? Today we're going to be making a ring that has a really interesting backstory to it and it dates back to over four years ago. This is when I was just getting started as a ring maker. I had a guy reach out to me and he wanted something custom and I was really excited about this because this is maybe the second or third time this has ever happened. I spent a lot of time doing a bunch of different research. I probably spent maybe 10 hours just looking into different materials, stuff that would look good together as well as machine nicely, all of the above. I even made some photos shop mock-ups and things like that. But then I didn't hear from the guy for another two to three months and I was really just kind of confused because we were both so excited about it. But then I see the ring that I had designed made by another ring maker. So it turns out he had taken the design, had another guy make it, and I don't say this to bring up a grudge or anything like that. I have no hard feelings against any of them. The ring maker, I'm sure he had no idea what the actual backstory was, but I was kind of sad because I didn't get to make this ring that I had spent so long designing. So today we're going to do that. Let's go over the materials as well as the design. So first we're going to be using tellurium copper. This is a really interesting alloy that's a lot better for jewelry than a traditional copper. And the first reason is because of its corrosion resistance. So you're not gonna get that green ring around your finger that you normally get with copper, so that's super helpful. And then the second benefit that you have here is scratch resistance, because when you add tellurium to copper, it creates copper telluride, which adds to the hardness of the material. So it's gonna hold a polish a lot better, so that's really nice. And then the third and final benefit that we have here is this a lot easier to machine than regular copper. So that's good for me, the ring maker. It's gonna make my job a lot easier. And then the second material we'll be using, this is malachite true stone. This is a really cool material. It's going to go really nicely with the color theme we've got going here. We've got that copper that coordinates really nicely with that green color. So I'll take a piece of this malachite, put it as an inlay onto the ring, then we're gonna be left with the seam. So I'm going to use my Orion laser welder and I'm going to use this copper wire to fill in that seam. So that's the material material as well as the backstory to it all. Let's go ahead and get right into the making. All right, this ring's gonna be made out of three pieces. Two of those are going to be copper, so let's cut a piece off for that. Now I'm going to bore out the entire copper rod, turning it into a tube. That'll make it a lot quicker and easier to work with. Next, I'll use a Sharpie and my calipers to mark out all my dimensions. Now I'll part off the first piece and that's ready to go. Let's go ahead and get started on the second. Now I'll quickly just trim it up to size, that way it'll fit perfectly onto the end of the first piece. Now it's time to cut out our piece of malachite, so I'll just use my Patrick Adair Supplies diamond hole saws to do that. 
I'm just using plenty of water to keep these cool as they run, and pretty soon I've got my blank all ready to go. Now the next steps I do to the Malachite True Stone are fairly simple. I just need to cut it to the correct dimensions to fit into the channel that we formed from the two copper pieces. Now I've got all three pieces fitting together perfectly. Now it's time to head over to my Orion laser welder and we're going to completely get rid of the seam between the two copper pieces. Now I'm switching the settings on the laser welder to work well for copper. Copper is a little bit tricky because it's so conductive that it just sucks all the heat away from it. And now using this filler wire, I'm able to go all the way around the ring and just completely fill in that seam. Now I'll just trim it flush and we'll be left with a completely seamless connection. Now from here on out, I just need to do the final dimensioning and shaping to the ring. So I'll do that now. I'll go ahead and trim the outside flush. I'll go in and add the bevels, make sure that's looking nice. And then I'll switch over to the inside diameter of the ring. We'll start rounding it off there, making it comfortable to wear. Now we've got all the shaping done, let's switch over to the sandpaper and we're going to give this thing an amazingly nice finish. Now to finish it off, I'll use some AstroTech polish and it'll leave us with this wonderful ultra high gloss mirror finish.
here's the ring finish, guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. It was so fun for me to be able to go back and finally make this ring after so many years of just having it in the back of my head. I was finally able to just get that out. So it's kind of just like therapeutic in a way, I feel like. And you can see just how unique this ring looks. I think the malachite and the copper just go so nicely together. And what we also realized was that this is kind of the perfect St. Patrick's Day ring. That color combination just works really well for that. As I'm recording this voiceover right now, it is literally St. Patrick's Day. So what a great coincidence. What a perfect ring for the time of year. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Anything I mentioned in the video, there should be a link to in, down in the description. So if you had any questions about anything, check there first. Also, if you want to follow me on my Instagram, I post a lot of cool behind the scenes content over there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.